Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches for you for the October Hella Handmade Creations. First, let me give you a little background on what that is. Hella Handmade Creations is a website which features a bunch of different indie makers that get together each month and they pick a theme. But it's not a cohesive theme for everybody like Polish Pickup is. Each maker picks their own individual theme and they create polishes for a few months based on that individual theme. This is also this is a pre-order. The pre-order already began and it begins every month on the 14th at 601 Hawaiian time and it ends the 21st of the month. This is a one week pre-order. Some of the items have caps and when I say caps I just mean that there's a certain number of bottles available. Some don't, so we were going to go over that along with each individual polish and application video that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to have links down below to my blog, which has more pictures and more information and links directly to each and every polish that you're going to see here. So let's jump into it. First up is Green Man. Green Man is inspired by Charlie's Green Man from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Green Man is described as a lime green crelly filled with green to gold shifting microflakes, multiple shades and finishes of green glitter, glitters. This is going to sell for $11 with no cap. The formula on this is excellent. It went on very easily. I didn't have to manipulate, I didn't have to fish for any of the glitters. I didn't get a lot of the glitters, but I was happy with the payout that I did receive. Um, the removal on this is a little bit tricky because of those glitters, but it wasn't bad overall because it wasn't so densely packed with glitter. So my swatches here showed you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is Seal the Deal from Don Diva. Don Diva's Seal the Deal is inspired by the show The Sex in the City. Seal the Deal is described as a luscious polish that has a deep, rich blue base. It is filled with Sister Unicorn Pea that shifts from green to gold. It is accented with delicate micro hollow glitter and hollow flakes. It is going to sell for $17 and there is no cap. The formula on this is absolutely excellent. It goes on really smoothly and evenly. The shift in that Sister Unicorn P is very, very apparent. This polish is beautiful. Um, the removal is easy, and my swatches are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is DRK Nail Polish, Be Gentle. Be Gentle was inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia. Be Gentle is described as a multi-chrome green to pink mixed with holographic microflakes and iridescent orange to green flakes. It is going to sell for $11.50. This one is capped at 120 bottles. So if you like this one, go in for it first. The formula on this is excellent. The removal is easy. The swatches you're going to see here are two coats and a glossy top coat. DRK has that rounded brush, which I definitely appreciate. I like it for my thicker nail beds. Wider, not thicker. Nail beds. So my swatches of Be Gentle show you two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Ethereal Lacquer. Ethereal Lacquer is bringing Neptune. Neptune was inspired by the planets. And Neptune is described as a bright marine blue with a strong green to violet and gold shifting multi-chrome shimmer. It is going to sell for $12.50 with no cap. The formula on this is excellent. It starts off a bit sheer, but it builds to opacity in three coats. It has an excellent formula. It stayed right where I put it, and the removal was easy. Sorry I missed the top coat application for this video. It seems that every video I make is missing something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll get organized one of these days, I promise. So that was three coats and a glossy top coat of Neptune. 
Next up is Femme Fatale's Winter Fire. Winter Fire is a thermal polish. It is inspired by Stephen King and described as an inky blue with purple tones in its cold state that flips to a soft magenta when it's warm. It's packed with green and gold flakes that shift to blue at angles in the light and a subtle green red duochrome pigment and a scattering of orange green iridescent glitters. This is going to sell for $14 and there will be no cap. The formula and application are excellent. The removal was a bit tricky because of those um, glitters that you're seeing there, but it wasn't terrible at all. Um, the thermal is very reactive and I had no trouble getting it to show. So you have seen two coats of winter fire and a glossy top coat. Next up is Great Lakes Lacquer, The Boy in the Iceberg. The Boy in the Iceberg was inspired by Avatar, The Last Airbender. It is described as a cobalt blue filled with aqua to pink and purple shifting iridescent flakes, an aqua to pink shifting aurora shimmer. It is going to sell for $13 with no cap. The formula on this is absolutely excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. The removal was easy. Everything in here is flakes, so nothing is going to be difficult to remove. The apple, I'm sorry. So you've just seen three coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Heather's Hughes. Heather's Hughes is bringing us Why Are You In Your Underpants? Why Are You In Your Underpants is inspired by Bob's Burgers. It is described as a moss green packed with green to gold shimmer, hollow, green, blue, fuchsia, gold, iridescent flakes, red, copper, gold, mauve, green, gold, multi-chrome flakes, and a mix of chameleon glitters in a gold, green, and red to pink to gold. It is going to sell for $12.50. There will be a 100 bottle cap. The formula was excellent. It went on smoothly and evenly. I had no staining, and the removal was easy. So this was two coats of Why Are You In Your Underpants and a glossy top coat. Next up is Flame Aurora Quartz from Illyrian Polish. Flame Aurora Quartz is inspired by crystals and opals. It is described as a dark purple base packed with pink and green and purple, gold and green iridescent flakes with a scattering of hollow sparkles. It is going to sell for $13 and there will be a 200 bottle cap. The formula was excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. The removal was easy. Everything you see there is flakes, so nothing is going to be difficult to remove. Um... I applied two coats, but if I had to do it again, I would go in for three thin coats. I tend to like the effect three thin coats gives you over two thicker coats. It's my personal preference, but I don't know. I thought I'd share that. So this is two coats of Flame Aurora Quartz from Illyrian Polish and a glossy top coat. Next is from Kathleen and & Co, and this is Seasons Change. Seasons Change is inspired by nature. The polish is described as a coral-based linear hollow with or added aurora shimmer. I found that this coral was the kind of coral that leans more on the pink side than the orange side. This is going to sell for $12.50 and have a 75 bottle cap. The formula is excellent. It goes on smoothly and evenly. It didn't stain, there was no running or pooling, it stayed right where I put it. It was not difficult to remove. My swatches show you two coats of Seasons Change and a glossy top coat. Next up is Lily Pad Lacquer's Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Mirror Mirror on the Wall is inspired by Looney Tunes, and it is described as a teal base with pink, purple, green shifting micro sh green shifting shimmer with gold micro hollow glitters. It is going to sell for $14, and there is no cap. The formula on this is excellent. It goes on very smoothly and evenly. It stays right where I put it. It's wasn't hard to remove. Don't be turned off by the micro hollow glitter in the description. It came off easily. Um, I didn't have any staining and my swatches are going to show you three thin coats and a glossy top coat.
Next up is Lollipop Lacquer's The Libraries of Night. The Libraries of Night is inspired by Desire of Neil Gyrum's Sandman. It is described as a brown-based multichrome that shifts to various hues of red, green, gold, and brown, accented with linear holographic pigment and several colors of shifting ultra chameleon chrome flakes. It is going to sell for $13. There is no cap. The formula is excellent. The application is excellent. The removal was very easy. My swatches are going to show you three thin coats and a glossy top coat of the Libraries of Night. Next up is Linby Designs I Don't Sweat, I Sparkle. I Don't Sweat, I Sparkle is the first in Linby Designs new series, which is inspired by the unbelievable Kimmy Schmidt. This polish is a thermal, and it is described as shifting from a blurple when cool to a pink when warm, with blue to purple to pink to gold UCC flakes with violet shimmer and linear holographic shimmer. It is going to sell for $13 and there will be a 90 bottle cap. The formula and application on this are excellent. The removal was very easy. The thermal is quite reactive. I had absolutely no trouble getting this to show in both its cold and its warm state. So this is two coat, oh, I'm sorry, three thin coats of I Don't Sweat, I Sparkle, and a glossy top coat. Next up, I have Quixotic Polishes Float Away. The Hella Handmade Creations site says float on, but the label on my bottle said float away. So I'm sorry for the confusion, but when you go to the website, it's going to say float on. Float On is the last of the Quixotic Polish series, which was inspired by graffiti art. It is described as a medium blue base loaded with pink shifting flakes, hollow micro flakes, and pink to green shifting shimmer. This is going to sell for $11.50. There will be no cap. The formula and application on this are excellent. The removal is easy, and my swatches are going to show you three thin coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Rogue Lacquer, and it is called Diamonds Are a Niffler's Best Friend. Diamonds Are a Niffler's Best Friend was inspired by Fantastic Beasts. It is described as a shining bright like a diamond. It is packed with gold and different toned silver hollow glitters with sparkly aurora shimmer and a holographic flame. It's going to sell for $12 and have a 150 bottle cap. My swatches have shown you one coat over black and three coats over my natural nails. So this is one coat over black as to show you what it looks like as a topper. Otherwise, three coats over my natural nails and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Sassy Pants Polish, and it is called Hot as Hell. Please ignore the title card that says Lucifer. Lucifer is the inspiration, not the name. This polish was inspired by the TV show Lucifer, who is the handsome devil in the show. It is described as a red holographic polish. It is going to sell for $12 and have a 100 bottle cap. The formula on this is excellent. It goes on buttery smooth. The removal is also easy. I had no staining and my swatches are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. This is 77 Nail Lacquer's Free to Be. This is inspired by punk rock. Free to Be is described as a gray Crelly base with black and white matte glitter mix 
blue to green to purple shifting shimmer, and blue to purple to red shifting shimmer. This is going to sell for $13 with no cap. The formula on it is excellent. It was smooth, easy to apply. I didn't have to do any manipulation to get those glitters out. Um, the removal is going to be a little bit on the tricky side because of those glitters, but it wasn't that hard. Um, I would recommend acetone to make your life easier or maybe those nail clip things or just aluminum foil with a cotton ball and it'll come right off. These swatches are three thin coats and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Sheely Polish, and it is called I Am The Mystery Of You. I Am The Mystery Of You is inspired by Lady Gaga. It is described as a blue iridescent polish with aurora pigment, copper iridescent flakes, and shimmer in a black base. It is going to sell for $14 and have a 100 bottle cap. The formula and application on this are excellent. It goes on very smoothly, very evenly. I had no staining. The removal was also very easy. And the swatches are going to show you two thin coats and a glossy top coat. And last is Fact. Q from Wildflower Lacquer. This is inspired by Dazed and Confused the movie and it is described as a blue gray base with pink to green shifting shimmer and a rainbow of crystal flakes. It is going to sell for $12 and have an 80 bottle cap. The formula on this was excellent. The removal was easy. I didn't have to do any scrubbing. Everything you say and see in this polish is flakes, so you will have no trouble with removal. My swatches are going to show you three thin coats and a glossy top coat. That wraps up this October's Hella Handmade Creations swatch and review. I did not get all of the polishes, so there are definitely more. So go to the Hella Handmade Creations website, which I have a link down below, and you can check everything out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good night, guys.